National Trust for Young Musicians was formed in 1988 by family members, colleagues and friends of the late John Tunnell OBE, founder leader of the Scottish Chamber Orchestra. The Trust was established in order to support young, professional chamber music groups. The aim of all the Trust's work is to help bridge the difficult gap between the student and professional worlds for our young musicians, where recognition and experience can only be gained from quality performing opportunities. Uh, John had been the charismatic founder leader of the Scottish Chamber Orchestra. His interests covered many things in the music sphere, particularly the support of Scottish music societies and clubs. John's interest also ran to young musicians and he recognised very clearly the difficulty that young musicians had of getting onto the ladder and, and making a, a career and living uh, out of playing. I think the most unusual thing about the Tunnel Trust is that we aim to support pre-formed chamber music groups. We help them with a spot of further education, but more importantly perhaps with concert experience. The award scheme which sends uh, young chamber music groups, mostly just out of college, around the Scottish music clubs on tours every year has become an important part of the life of the music clubs. There are about 80 clubs in Scotland and the Turnell Trust promotes a tour of about 20 of them every year. So a quarter of the Scottish music clubs get one free concert a year. The young groups get not just odd concerts, which are so difficult to find, but actually short series of concerts so they can take the same programme to several music clubs and the music clubs get a free concert. To actually play the same pieces six times in the space of a week is the biggest luxury. You learn to experiment with the music, you start to feel freer as a chamber group and I think you learn so much faster in that way than doing one concert a month and invariably with a different programme. All the things that John did for music in Scotland should be remembered and the best way to remember it is to do something to help young musicians and to help Scottish music clubs. <laughs>